Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today's video is another design with me video made for print on demand sellers as well as printables because whatever I'm designing right now, you could just go ahead and check it out and put it on pretty much anything, whether it's printable wall art, printable greeting cards, or any print on demand company, marketplace, software, supplier, whatever. And what I want to share with you guys today is sort of a few things throughout one process. So I'm going to show you how I designed my order from this new. I made another order. What's wrong with my hair today? This blue hair really has a life of its own. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What I'm going to show you today in my computer is how I designed my next order for this new. This Chinese supplier, there is a link down below to the previous order that I got from them, which is, I think it was a thermos a key ring, a puzzle, and socks. So you can go ahead and check out the quality of them. But today I'm gonna to show you four products that I designed with them, which are a laptop sleeve, a pencil case, not a zip pouch, like a thick pencil case, another tank top that I ordered for myself that I am in love with even before it's coming, as well as a face mask. So I'm gonna show you these four items that I've designed. I'm gonna show you like pretty much what I used in order to design them, but I'm also gonna be designing two or three extra options for each and every one of these products and this could be good for several reasons one if you want to check in this new as a supplier this will be a look deeper into their platform and how their design works because they also have the option to make patterns they have really really cool options like flipping your photo turning it to the sides really really cool stuff that i have not seen in many print on demand suppliers especially not with redbubble but this is also good to give you ideas if you're not going to sell on this new, if you're going to sell on Redbubble or Society6 or any other platform. This is also going to be kind of cool as an inspirational video as well as sort of like cool sources video because I will be using graphics and fonts that I found on Creative Fabrica. And Creative Fabrica is like a world. There are so many fonts and so many graphics that I know that people are just, you know, struggling with finding good ones because they're just drowning in like hours and hours of looking at amazing and beautiful things and you just go lost and oof. There goes the entire time that you had today to work on this project just by looking at awesome things. And as much as I love their awesome things, I wanted to save you time and find the awesome things for you. And I also want to save you money, which is why everyone from this channel gets 30% off on their All Access Pass, Creative Sobrica All Access subscription for print on demand designs, as well as print on demand allowed fonts. And you can check out a link to that down below. It's a 30% off lifetime offer on their best subscription, which is super, super cool. And thank you, Creative Fabrica, for having this discount for my viewers and for myself. I'm actually using the same discount. Before we get started, dive deep into my computer and a full on, a very long and filled with so many different ideas, design tutorial for print on demand and printables, two small announcements. For those of you who are watching this video as a live premiere, welcome. I love making live premiere videos because we have this live chat in the corner where you can ask me questions in real time and I can answer in real time unless the question requires me to answer more than 200 tabs. And then please, please, please do that in the comment section below. The reason why I'm able to chat with you guys is because I am not actually talking right now. And that's because a live premiere is not a live YouTube video. A live premiere is basically an option by YouTube that I can upload a pre-recorded, pre-edited video onto this platform. And for the very first time that it's being watched, we get to watch it together and have this live chat. If you want to make sure not to miss out on live premieres or live chat fun, you can always check out live premiere dates and times on my Instagram story at may.royo on our Facebook community with a link to that down below or on this channel community tab where I also keep you updated on topics of videos and live premiere times. And the second announcement is about shop reviews, and the next shop review video is tomorrow, guys. And shop reviews can include print on demand or printables on any platform in any marketplace. Etsy, Shopify, WordPress, Redbubble, Society6, T-Chip, T-Public, Fine Art America, Art of Wear, wherever it is that you are selling print on demand or printable items, you can go ahead and submit your shop for review with the Google form in the link down below. But enough about that. Let's go to my computer and watch some cool design ideas with this new platform. Explore their designer that has so many options, as well as give you a sneak peek to the items that I've ordered for myself and still waiting to arrive. And of course, we'll keep you updated as they come. And we are here at this new, and I just want to show you the products that I've ordered, like not the designs, but the product. I got this pencil case stationery. And what I liked about it is the fact that, as you see here, 
there are three dimensions because it's also wide. So it's like two inches wide and I can't, can't wait to check it out. I also got this tank top and I don't know if you've noticed, but like the prices for shipping to the United States are ridiculous. I mean, most print to demand companies, they just start with five or six dollars straight up. So this is kind of cool and they have a lot of sizes and just a black color, but you basically design the center of it. I also ordered this laptop sleeve. I ordered the 13 inch one. And again, the prices for shipping are very, very low, especially like to Bulgaria. And it does look kind of nice and it's an all over print. And I ordered the adjustable face mask cover, not obviously not with this design, but it comes with a nose clip and it also comes with filters. So I'm quite excited about that one. And it's truly the best price for a face mask that comes with filters in terms of the price of the product and the price of the shipping. And it's an overall print. So let's just go in and have fun just designing these because I do have a lot of ideas for them. So for example, let's start designing this pencil case. And what I do love about pencil case designs, especially if I'm looking into the kind of people who would want a pencil case. So if we're talking about this as a pencil case and, you know, creative people, people who find their outlet in all kinds of arts, then I do think that like sentences and quotes about mental health or like introvert stuff would be nice, as well as women who would want to use it as a toiletry bag. So I was thinking about a few couple funny designs but let's just have a look at their minimal requirements. So we're talking about 27, 27 pixels by 14, 23. And let's just go ahead and create that on Canva. And because their design system also enables you to have layers, I'm also going to put in another dimensions for 4,000 by 3,000 to create a background for this design that will be big enough and look amazing. And I'm looking at it and I'm trying to think, first of all, let's do, let's go with the toiletry thing because it really makes me laugh. And I'm thinking something towards like, um, don't open it, there's tampons in there. And I want to find if there is something about tampons on Creative Fabrica. Okay, so not a lot of tampons at all. Let's go with lipstick because it could be a cosmetics bag. Okay, so we have some nice lipsticks, but I don't see a pattern here. Maybe I can make a pattern. Oh, we have a Kisses one. A kisses pattern is totally my thing. And I'm thinking right now, what I can have on this pencil case or, you know, a toiletry case is have this design as a lipstick junkie and a different background because it's print on demand ready and you can use it. Or I can have like one of these backgrounds and then write something else on them or just have a background. Like if I flat out find like a good lipsticks pattern, I'm just going to use a pattern. And it's, it's so amazing how they just have so many different files. It's insane. And I, I do love the lipstick junkie, though. It switches my mind off of the tampons idea. <laughs> I don't know if you found that idea disgusting <laughs> or weird, but it is true. We use it for tampons. And oh my god, I mean, guys, there's just so many here. How am I supposed to decide? Let's just go back and find a cool pattern and be done with that. The lipstick kisses pattern. That is 12 inch by 12 inch. And what I can do with this pattern, I'm going to use the JPEG version of it, is I can literally just upload it here. So let's go to images and I'll go to this lipstick kisses pattern and upload the JPG file. It might take some time to upload bigger files than the file written here, but I am thinking, what will I run to write about it? Maybe like, I love you or love or something like that. So let's go to text, add heading, write down love and choose a very, I want to like a very big, big font, maybe like this one. And I also want to create an effect on it, but I want to color the background because the effect, I kind of want it to glow in white and I want to make sure that I can see the white. So let's go here, work on the transparency a bit, maybe blur it more and make it almost entirely the size of this. We can adjust it on the actual item later on. And I just want to see maybe it works best with a different font. Oh, this is an amazing font, guys. I do love this. It's also from Creative Fabrica. We've talked about this font Monday morning in previous videos. 
I'm just going to delete the background and download this PNG with a transparent background. I'm going to go back to this new where this was uploaded and I'm going to try and stretch it out to fill out everything. And once I stop, it's still going to tell me if the print quality is good, which is what I want to see. And I'm going to upload another image of the love sign that I just uploaded. And I'm just going to try and center it because it wasn't really centered on my end. And here you can see that it made the mock-up. It looks kind of nice. I don't know if you agree. And here you can obviously see the spacing on the side. I do love how it looks. It looks pretty dope. However, I might not want this back design here to be so, so big. I mean, there are so few kisses because it's so big. So what I can do is I can move it around and I can minimize it to the size of the kisses that I want. Let me just move love around and tile this up. And only this only works if it's a seamless pattern, obviously. I mean, it will not work if this is not a seamless pattern. Let me just move it around and it moves with me. I'm going to go back to this layer. I love that you can edit with layers. It's one of this new best features. And let me just find how it looks good on a center and check out the mock-up again. And I do love it better now with the lips being so small. And this is one of my design ideas. But another design idea, let me just quickly delete these layers. I can also try and make sort of a pattern by myself because there is a way to tile things up in here. And if I'm gonna go to back to this one and I said something about and being an introvert or finding yourself or a motivational quote, we can start by writing something like, let's add heading. Let's just write down a bunch of short phrases. Self-care, let's choose a different font. Make it a tiny bit bigger. Duplicate. And here I wrote down appreciation. I can change the font as well. And put it somewhere down here. Let's find another word. Positivity. We can give it a different font. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a weird, weird design, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up to center it here. Try to find wh where is my center line and it's evading me. Oh, there it is. Copy paste this. Move it to the other side center it so this will create a seamless pattern move this up here the self-care can also be here and i would want another font for example to write down me time let's go with this one it's a nice also cursive looking font but maybe let's not put both of the cursive so much together and i kind of want to see how this would play out if I try to make it as a pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download page number two with a transparent background, go back to this product. And honestly, the design process here is just so cool because it, it's so not the limiting design style that we're using with Redbubble. You can like layer things up. I really do love their design process. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to minimize it and tile it up. And now I have a lot of these like words here but I'm not sure that I like how they're aligned. I didn't make this design crazy enough, I think. So what I can do is go back to my design and start playing around.
and see if this design works better for me. Again, with a transparent background, we'll go back to the product, remove this layer, and upload this crazy image. First of all, this image obviously just fits, but I want to make it a tiny bit smaller and tile it up. And I don't know what about you guys, but I'm digging it. I want to put the word positivity in the middle. And I'm totally digging this design. Totally, totally digging this design. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I'm loving it. And it's going to quickly update to the one that we did. And I am loving this one. So we did two designs for this pencil case, but if you want to see what I designed for myself, it's this one. I used a pattern that I found on Creative Fabrica and I added a, sort of like a transparent box over it, like a half transparent square over it, and I wrote down tools to make dreams come true because I was looking into starting the coloring pages thing and I want to go back to sketching and these would literally be the tools to make my dreams come true. And this was the design I made. But let's move up to a different design, like, for example, for this tank top. And for this tank top, let's just go, because I do want to find, like, a cool thing on Creative Fabrica. And I'm not really sure what I want, but I know I want it to be funny. And there are some Christmas things here. Let me scroll down. And I am looking for something a bit white, or I'm just going to color it myself after that with with Clip Studio Paint, but for now, I just want to find something cute to put on a tank top that is bright in its colors. I do like this pattern, even though it's it's a t-shirt without a pattern. We have Funny Alpaca Watercolor. Let's check out this Funny Alpaca. Mm, I don't know if it will look good on a black t-shirt, but I do love it, and I'm probably going to save this up for something else in the future, because I'm in love with alpacas lately. It's insane. The cut, the cat in the cup looks interesting. So it's a set of both the illustrations and the seamless pattern. So this is interesting enough. Let's just try and download it and see what we get. Unzip it. Go in. Okay, so we have the PNG illustration. Yes, it has a clear background. I'm done. I'm just going to upload this. I found what I was looking for. Let's quickly go to design this cool and awesome tank top. Go on to design, click on image, and upload my funny cat illustration. By the way, it also has a seamless pattern, so I can make it for the laptop or for the face mask. But for now, we are with the t-shirt, with the tank top. And it centers it on the t-shirt, the tank. Let's just have a look at how it looks. But my problem here is that I'm lacking a piece of text. And I don't know if you've noticed, but this cat kind of really looks like the Monday morning font, like with all these lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up a bit or down, and I'm going to think about a phrase that matches this cat. So I'm going to quickly go on here. I'm going to upload this cat onto Canva just so that I will have its colors. I will color the background of this design in black, put this one in here, and let's just grab one of the morning fonts that we had like with this, and change the color here to one of the colors of the cat. So if the text is going to be below the cat, then it's not going to be orange. But if it's, if it's going to be below the cat, I'm going to put it in blue. If it's going to be above the cat, it's going to be orange. So let's just have both. I'm going to quickly color this one in blue and let's remove the cat and think about something to say. I want to just write smile. I think smile is a cool thing to have on a t-shirt, yeah? Now let's just make it a tiny bit smaller. I am going to keep, I think, the shadow, but I'm going to blur it a lot less. And I'm going to offset it just a tiny smidge. And this is good for this. And for the word love, let's write in. You know what, let's just duplicate this. Color this in our blue. And think about a different word. Playful. Feeling playful indeed. And let's maybe just also round it up a bit. Because we have the double effects with Canva, which is brilliant. And I wanted the blue one if it's on the bottom of the design. So let's just curve it up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete the background here, delete the background here, and download both one and two with transparent backgrounds. 
I'm going to go back to my tank top, unzip this, upload these images here. And first, let's try out with one of these. Let's see what we have here. So if I'm going to put this on the side, we have the option to have this one above and this one below. Let's see how it looks. And as you can see, it cut itself off. It's not full on bleed here. I need to minimize this a bit more, center it. It actually is a good angle though. I do like how it looks. It looks kind of cool. But my other option was to take this one, put the smile up on the top, just all the way up. And this one here and the playful would be not visible. Obviously don't leave it here for the design deleted. I'm just keeping both of them to the side. And this would be this design. I don't know which one you like best but these are my ideas. It's just by picking up an element and finding a cool font that goes along with it. And If you want to see my t-shirt design, my tank top design, this is what I've ordered, which basically says cute but messed up, with my own graphic illustration that I made when I did like a Zodiac collection. So this was actually the Virgo one. And I can't wait for it to arrive, even though it's quite funny because I uploaded this design because I was blonde. But now with the blue hair, maybe my blue hair will match the blue top of this design. But this was the one that I made for me. Moving up to our laptop case, let's go ahead and design this puppy up. And we have a very, very low minimal pixels. I really do love uploading like larger files. So I'm going to stick with my 3000 by 4000. And I'm going to think what I want to write about this one, what I want to have on it. You could try to make it something personalized. I do want to check out just their instant tool because they do have things like have a background color. So for example, let's just go ahead with just placing a nice color on it. And if you want to do this as like customized stuff. So for example, I will be going with like this crazy magenta for the color, but then I can also just add text. So I can write down here something like property of, and then basically when people order it, you make it designed for them, like you add their name on it. So let's just check out their available fonts. They have a lot of fonts here, guys. A lot of fonts in their own system that are pretty, pretty cool. This was actually the one that I used. Um, the college one, I'm going to show you in a minute how it looked, but I think that this might be like very nice. So like property of, let's give it also dots and color this in white and then add another text. And for example, the name of the person is Natalie and we're going to check out one of the other fonts. Oh my God. So many fonts here. So many fonts here. This one is nice. And I can make it like on a brighter pink. Just make it bigger. Like property of Natalie. And this would be like a custom design that you made for, especially for clients. They just order what they want to be written on their laptop sleeve. And this would be the design. It's very, very basic, but it's one great way to just create custom products instantly. So property of Natalie. And if I have any other stuff like to put on like glitter or hearts, I can also use them. This is just one idea, but let's go out and make some other ideas. And what I want to do is I'm just going to go here to backgrounds. There are so many beautiful backgrounds on Canva. It's insane. I do like the watercolor ones and I kind of like this one as well as the denim ones. And I do love this one. I think the glitter is amazing. Also this one, we are in Pride Month, right? Let's just try and download page four here for a second. Because I really do love this design. I think it will look awesome on a laptop. I don't know if you guys agree. But let's just go here. Let's delete this property of. And the back color. And upload our love sequence on here. And I'm just going to stretch it up just a bit. So it's going to cover the edges to make sure that it's perfect. And I can have this as is, or I can actually add something on it, like a text that says, let's go with proud. You can also do like, so gay. And I was thinking about something like, we need like something very thick to match 
the background. This looks proud for me. Let's just center it. Now, I really don't know if this is your cup of tea or if you like it, but I think that this is an awesome idea. Kind of enjoying myself at the moment. Let's just check it out. I like it. I don't know what about you guys, but I like it. And it's time to show you mine, right? And this was mine, and it says, trust me, I'm a YouTuber. Yes, I went there. I went there with, trust me, I'm a YouTuber. Last but not least, we have the face mask, and we're gonna go and to design it. And let's just check out the pixel size. Again, this is very, very small, so it's easy to surpass it with just by doing this. And here, obviously, you can do like, one of the things that I really like doing, okay, so let's do a pride flag. It's really, really easy, guys. We can just go here and do square. Take this square. We don't even need to do a square. You know what? Let's just go here. Write down pride flag on Google. Because I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. So the pride flag has one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Okay. Does it have six or do we have more? Let's do the rainbow flag. Well, it mostly has six colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Canva design. And on elements, we're going to close the square, go to grids, and find a six grid. So let's do like six photos, which is this one. And we're going to minimize the spacing and just click on them and color them. And this is a pride flag. Obviously, we can style it a bit more. We can make it more special, more diversify. We can make it like more glowy, <laughs> if that's a word. I'm discovering new words while I'm narrating what I'm doing. I honestly never believed that narrating what I'm designing would be so difficult, but having this YouTube channel has taught me so much. And so I'm, I'm, I'm growing as a, as a person. I'm sorry, guys, I'm rambling, I know. I, I usually ramble to myself when I'm designing, but now that I have a YouTube channel, I can ramble onto you guys, and I'm less crazy. I'm probably just going to cut it off later on. And we have this thing here. And we can actually use this one for our face mask because it kind of looks dope. I don't know if you like it or not, but I kind of like this idea as a face mask. And another thing we can have on the face mask, let's just check out different elements for smile. We want people to smile, yeah? Let's go with graphics. And let's just put in a very, very big smile on the face mask. I like these ones. I think this one is cute. Maybe as a pattern. I think I want to make like a smiles, like a funny character smiling pattern of different things. Okay, so these, this one, this one. Let's go with this one. And I don't know if you like this pattern, but I do. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to download a, without a transparent background, I can use the background here and just download the last two designs that I've made, the pride flag and this cute pattern. Go back to my face mask, delete this weird mouth with cavities and with fillings and upload on my images. So this one is quite cute, but I did want it as a pattern. So let's just tile it up. And maybe I'll move it around a bit. And this would be the face mask. It actually looks kind of cute, guys. I'm kind of digging it. And I love how their photos also explain things. So you could be using these photos, like, you know, with a nose clip. It's not just a mock-up. And it does look pretty, pretty dope. And the second idea that I have, let's just trash this one away, was the pride flag. We are at pride month, guys. I would have gay designs. We can make this just a tiny bit bigger and make sure to center it. And this could be one design idea. We could also minimize it and patternize this one. Because it is pattern ready, you know, being a rainbow and all. And we can have it as this. 
you know, as this design. Or we can add also, again, the word proud on it to create a different effect. Although I do kind of like it like this. Let's try and make it even smaller. Even more crazy as a pattern. With even more lines. And this was like the fastest way ever to create a mask, a face mask design, truly. And if you're wondering what I did, the face mask that I ordered is this one. It was made using just simple squares patterns. I had a tutorial about that on the YouTube channel about how to make like very, very simple patterns just out of shapes. You can go ahead and watch it out. It's what I did for this system. And I'm really waiting for these products to arrive. And obviously we'll keep you updated when they do. I would love for you guys to tell me which one was your favorite out of the designs that I made, the tools to make dreams come true, cute but messed up. Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. Or this one. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the live chat. And I do hope that you learned a little bit about this system, this new system, because there are so many things you can do here with the text and different alignments. And I'm totally going to order this on a t-shirt too. <laughs> I'm totally going to order this one as well. And with that being said, let's get back to me. Talk about this some more. And we're back to me. What did you guys think? Please let me know if you are in the live chat. What was your favorite design of them all? Was it the patterns? Was it some of the funny stuff? Was it a design that I made for the video? Or was this a design that I made for myself? What did you guys think about my laptop sleeve of, trust me, I'm a YouTuber. I was like really excited to make this. And it's something that I've always wanted. And I do love, I, I do hope that it will come out nice in real life. The minute that I get this order, I'm going to push in a video with reviewing the product quality of these items. And I just can't wait. I think they're an amazing option for people who want to start their print on demand journey with affordable suppliers, like an affordable supplier and affordable shipping rates. It's truly amazing. And I do hope that you liked this video. By the way, if you did like this video, feel free to like it on YouTube because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. With that being said, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow for another shop review video. Hmm. Will it be on Etsy? Will it be on Redbubble? Who knows? <laughs> I guess you'll just have to come back tomorrow and see which shops will be reviewed. I'm reminding you that whenever I say something bad about a shop in the review, it's only in a way to get you to sell better, to make things better, and to optimize your potential within your platform. No harm in tents, I promise. That is it from me for today. And if you've seen any of my videos, you pretty much know what I'm about to say right now because the live chat is going to go away in three, two, one, and I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye!